Hey folks, Alex here from Lone Tie Writers, and today I'm going to show you how to change the 1066FN or Group 9 Tie Writer ribbon. So first, let's go over the things that we'll need for this task. Obviously, you will need a new ribbon and spools like these. We actually sell them in our store. Then you will need a compatible tie writer like this Silver Reed Silver Red. And then I would recommend to get a pair of tweezers like these. Now, the tweezers are going to be really handy when we'll be handling the new ink ribbon, as otherwise handling it with your bare fingers and hands can get a bit messy. So I'm going to take off this top panel. Before you remove the old ribbon, what I would recommend is to take a picture of this whole assembly. Now that picture could be really useful as a reference point in case you get stuck with installation with the new ribbon. So I'm going to take my tweezers and take out the ribbon from the ribbon carrier. Now the ribbon carrier is this part that holds the ribbon and goes up and down whenever you type. So I'm going to engage on one of the keys, so the ribbon carrier lifts up and slide out the ribbon from the ribbon carrier. Then I'll lift up these pulls. Then I'll take the new ribbon and spools. So an important note here is the orientation of the spools and the ribbon. So we want to make sure that the ribbon is facing the type editor this way and not this way. So this way would be the wrong way to install the ribbon. So we want to make sure it goes this way. So I'm going to put in one of the spools and the other spool on this side. So you want to make sure this seated properly. And now I'll use my tweezers to feed the ribbon in the ribbon carrier here. As you can see, it can be a bit fiddly, so that's why having a pair of tweezers is going to be handy. And then I'll feed the ribbon through these arms on each side. And we're finished. Now time for the panel, and we are finished installing the ribbon. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And as always, happy typing.